In this lecture, we'll introduce the idea of image contrast and show how images with too much or too little contrast can impair our ability to recognize detail in a scene. We'll also show how contrast can be modified through a simple transformation of the image intensity at each individual pixel. To understand the concept of image contrast, it's helpful to begin by thinking about a one-dimensional signal. Here, for example, is a one-dimensional chirp waveform that extends over an interval of one meter. The waveform begins with an instantaneous frequency of zero cycles per meter on the left side of the plot and increases its frequency to 20 cycles per meter on the right side of the plot. The maximum value the waveform attains is one and the minimum is zero. Now if we increase the minimum value of the waveform from 0 to 0.2, then the waveform maintains the same shape but uses less dynamic range. If we continue to raise the lowest value of the waveform, we would eventually find it difficult to recognize the fluctuations in the signal. Well, we could change the scale for our axis, but we wouldn't be able to do that if other parts of the waveform still took values near 0. To illustrate this problem, let's take a look at a closely related two-dimensional image. Well, here's an image whose intensity is a chirped sinusoid in the horizontal direction. The image width represents one meter, and the frequency of the sinusoidal chirp begins at zero cycles per meter on the left side of the image and increases to 200 cycles per meter on the right side of the image. The contrast factor is defined as the peak to trough height of the image intensity fluctuations normalized to the largest image intensity. This image, for instance, fluctuates over the full scale of image intensities. Now let's see what happens when we vary the contrast factor from 0 to 1. Across the top of this image, the contrast factor is 0. This means that there is no peak to trough fluctuation about the average intensity value. A contrast factor of 0 0.1 means that the peak to trough fluctuation is one-tenth of the maximum intensity in this image. A contrast factor of 0.5 means the fluctuations are 50 percent of the maximum intensity. Here's a situation where the contrast factor is increasing a little faster from the top to the bottom of the image. Here it's moving, increasing a little faster yet. And here at the extreme situation, we can see that a contrast factor of 0 0.01 makes it very difficult to see the fluctuations in the image for all frequencies. But the low and high frequency parts of this image are a little more sensitive to the effects of contrast reduction than are the mid-frequency parts. Now let's take a look at how contrast changes the appearance of an actual photograph. Well, here's a black and white image of an old house. The plot in the upper right shows the relationship between the original intensity in the image and the transformed intensity. The original intensity is represented by 8 bits, so its values range between 0 and 255. For this first example, the transform intensity is simply the original intensity, so the relationship between the two intensities is a straight line. Now let's see what happens when we transform the intensity in a way that decreases low values and increases high values. This has the effect of giving a slight increase to the contrast of the image. We can amplify this effect by decreasing the low values and increasing the high values even more. And a slight increase in contrast like this can enhance an image, but at some point too much artificial contrast makes the image harsh and unrealistic. Well, if we go back to the original, we can use a different transformation that increases low intensity values and decreases high intensity values. By doing so, we're decreasing the contrast of the image. And as with increasing contrast, it's possible for some contrast reduction to enhance the appearance of an image. But eventually, too little contrast makes the image soft and unrealistic. Well, that concludes our introduction to the concept of contrast in digital images.